The tooth is made up of three main components. So on this x-ray, this is tooth number 31, the outer shell of the tooth, the part of the tooth that you see and that you bite and chew with, the white part of the tooth, that's enamel. The bulk, the large bulk of the tooth, including the roots and everything underneath the enamel, that's dentin. That makes up the bulk of the tooth. And then the part of the tooth that's alive is inside that hollow canal. That's called the pulp. And so, like I said, when we do a root canal, we remove the pulp. Sometimes people will refer to that as a dead tooth. Technically speaking, that's a misnomer. That's an erroneous way to describe that tooth. The most accurate way to describe that tooth is to call it a pulpless tooth. So of those three things, enamel, dentin, and pulp, only one of those things was ever alive, the pulp. The enamel and the dentin are non-living tissues. They're bio-inert tissues. So our objective is to remove the part of the tooth that is dead or dying and keep those bio-inert tissues in as pristine condition as possible with the procedure as minimally invasive as possible. Therefore, allowing you to keep your natural tissues, your dentin and enamel, and remove just the diseased part of that tooth. So that's why we call it a pulpless tooth.